The Uganda Special Forces continue with operations to search and secure the Allied Democratic Forces positions in a joint air and artillery strike. The aggressive attacks are intended to foil the operations of the ADF based in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Major ADF camps have been cleared in the territories of North Kivu Province and Ituri Province by UPDF. The operations come at a time the President of Uganda advised ADF-linked groups to surrender. And save themselves. Of course, they will be prosecuted. But if they do not come out, they will all die. A cross-section of the ADF as campering for safety, but also killing innocent civilians, using sharp objects, burning vehicles and residential structures. A source on ground confirms to UBC that ADF has insiders infiltrated in the Congolese army which is hampering the operations to eject the allied democratic forces. But when you have a population collaborating with the rebels and then the army, see when you when they deliver mini roles, they want to do their own thing. So at the end of the day you will not say anything, no. The presence of UPDF has also given the people of Congo a sigh of relief and hope. You know, civilians are very happy in the government, in the UPDF, Yamengira, Congo. They are very happy. Though Hanava and Deva Tavianza. So, even the UPDF, Yamavia Kamo Pinga, it has to do. The UN High Commissioner for Refugees reports that this year alone, 2021, in ADF imposed insurgencies, 1,200 people have been killed. 1,100 women raped and 1 million people displaced. In the latest development, the Democratic Republic of Congo Army has intercepted a man possessing security attire. The operations to end the ADF terror cells are commanded by Lieutenant General Mohose Kainerugaba, the commander of the land forces of the UPDF and the Mountain Division Commander, Major General Kayanja Mohanga, Ivan Kahua, UBC News.